Degenerative disc disease, well, it depends on which stage you're in and whether there is any injury that is bulge, herniated disc, or so on, complicating your case. If you are lucky enough to get into treatment while you're still in stage 1 disease, be regular with your adjustments, follow the doctor's advice. The effects of your treatment should be permanent. Once your treatment is complete, we will tell you. And after the symptom phase of it, you should seriously consider a once a month preventative adjustment to assure you never get to stage 2 disease. But regardless, always get a checkup at least once a year. If your condition has already progressed to stage 2, well, there are already permanent changes which have occurred, and your visits will also need to be ongoing. But after an initial course of A, intensive symptom relief or emergency care, then corrective phase, and then you should be able to extend your visits out gradually to two, three, or four times a year during a rehabilitative phase of treatment. If you're already in stage 3 disease, you should understand this didn't occur overnight. The condition is now permanent. This doesn't mean you can't be pain-free. With chiropractic, you can. But there is no surgical or medical cure which will keep all of these small joints moving individually. Only chiropractic adjustments can keep such joints functioning at all. Though you must understand, you will need to be adjusted on a very regular basis and even after the initial intensive treatment, it will be necessary to return for regular adjustments. How often will depend on your specific case and your doctor is well qualified to tell you what will be needed. Understand that a human joint is something like a rusty hinge. When you first open it up, that is, when we get it moving for the first time, it may creak, and your hand has a nerve in it to feel what's happening. The farther along the stage of degeneration and the more complicated the injury, the more likely it is to creak. When it does, it is possible, and this does occur in around 10% of patients, there could be an increase in discomfort at first. It may creak, and your if this happens, don't close the door and wait for the rust to go away. If you do experience an initial increase in pain, don't wait until the pain goes away to get adjusted again. This is the worst thing you can do. I know it may seem illogical to do what just made you feel lousy and do it again right away, but here's why you need to. Why should you get right back? Because if you wait, any adhesions which may have broken, that's why when that happens it feels bad, will start healing again and the next adjustment will just start the same process all over again. So to get somewhere with your treatment it's imperative we keep the joint moving. Why is it important to keep it moving? Because what we want is for any adhesions which may have broken not to heal. In this way the raw surfaces will heal up but not connect in such a way as to allow the joint to keep moving and the affected joint will be on track to regaining its range of motion again. If a new pain should crop up while being treated, caused by the sudden movement of a new joint that hasn't moved in a long time, what can we do about it? Well, you must communicate with us. We can't read your mind. You must get in and tell me. Ask. We'll use whatever it takes to get you out of pain and keep you that way. We can teach you how to use ice massage at home, and we have ultrasound, diathermy, acupoint therapy, heat, electrical stimulation, traction, and other methods to alleviate pain without drugs. We could also communicate for you with a medical consultant and arrange to have you seen so you could get a prescription medication if required. Normal healing is cyclic. There will be ups and downs in any return to health. The idea is that the ups each time are better and the downs are not as bad until you get all the way back to 100% health. It's our job to get you well and keep you that way. But if the problem is chronic, then the treatment will be proportionately chronic too. Remember, your body isn't just a toaster you can bring to a repair person and get it fixed. This is a participant process, and you're the participant. How long it takes depends on how long you took to get sick. Please be a patient patient. We will not ask you to come in even one visit more than you really need. My reputation depends on that.